Hello, I like to illustrate the idea of gentle slope 3D. We have explored why it is so hard for people to create interactive 3D worlds. Existing tools force us to embrace complex 3D ideas from the very beginning. Immediately, we have to use complex 3D modeling tools with overwhelming user interfaces to create even simple 3D shapes and to navigate in 3D spaces. It really doesn't have to be like this. Gentle Slope 3D is a simple but radically different idea of how to create 3D worlds. Imagine if we could start with familiar 2D tools and gradually move towards 3D. This would change uh, the learning curve of 3D dramatically and make 3D creativity tools much more accessible. Let me show you Gentle Slope 3D in action. I will start with an existing 2D game that we know even small kids could design and program. This is called Sokoban. It's a classic Japanese puzzle game from the 1980s. I have a character in my game, this red lobster here, that has to push around the boxes, these ones, onto the targets. And the objective of the game is to push all the boxes onto the targets. So let me start the game and play the just a little bit. So I have cursor control to move my lobster. I can move the boxes around. So that's my 2D game. It's just a 2D game that I like to use now Gentle Slope 3D to turn into a 3D game. So I will start with the walls and turn them into cubes. So these are the walls. I'm going to select the wall. I'm going to pick a different shape. Instead of just a tile, I'm going to turn it into a cube. So that's my cube. And voila, instantly we have these cubes. You can see them here. But my boxes, the crates, are still 2D. So I will select the crate. I will also pick a different shape for my crate. I'm going to pick a cube. I make it out of wood. I'm going to pick a crate texture. And so I have a 3D shape as well. Now I can even use these tools, these camera controls, to show you that it's actually a 3D world but my lobster is still completely flat. Now, I cannot just use the tool that I showed you to turn the lobster into a cube. That would not look very interesting. Instead, I'm going to use a process that we call inflatable icons to turn the lobster 2D image into a smooth thousands of polygons 3D shape in just mere seconds. So I select my lobster. On the left hand side we see a traditional 2D uh, editor for icons, similar to a, a Photoshop kind of interface. But on the right hand side we, we see a three-dimensional representation, which at the moment is still completely flat. So the simplest thing I can do is just to inflate the shape. So I'm going to take the inflation slider and add some inflation right here. And that looks nice. That's now my inflated icon of, of a lobster, so I'm going to save that one. And now we're going to have our lobster in this world. So we can go a little closer, zoom in, so that you can see it's actually in 3D. Now a final thing I want to do is I also want to do the same to use inflatable icons for my targets, but it's not good enough just to inflate them. I want to look have them look like metal balls. So I'm going to go to my ground. I'm going to edit the shape. A and again, here's my 2D representation, my 3D representation. I can start with inflating everything a little. But that's not quite wha what I want. So I'm going to select just the inside of this and deflate it. So that's nice. So I'm going to save that. So now we have a complete 3D game. 
with all the objects of my game that have been turned into 3D objects. What I want to do, I could play my game now, but it's not going to look much different. But I could actually select the Sokoban, in my case the lobster, and switch to first person view. So this would be quite a bit more exciting, but also more complex for me to even play the game. I need to know where to go, but also to make my game look a little bit more interesting, I'm going to add a sky dome. It's going to be quite easy for me to get confused where I am in my world. But to make the game even more exciting and then just to play the game, because it's basically finished, we can even switch now to first person view in, in full screen mode. And that's, in just about 5 minutes, the transition using Gentle Slope 3D from a 2D game into a 3D game. Thank you very much.